Hello! In this video I will talk about the .NET MAUI and navigation with shell. So stay tuned! Hello! Welcome to another video about .NET MAUI. This is the third video where I talk about shell related stuff. If you missed the other ones, that was about the introduction to shell and a deep dive into flyout. This one will be about navigation, but if you missed other ones, you can go and watch them first. So, navigation with shell. If you've done some reforms development before, this is very much the same way to do it. But I will walk through how it works with the .NET MAUI. So, let's dive into Visual Studio. So, here we have a shell file. With a tab bar and uh, with shell you get the navigation between the tabs or the flyout items out of the box so you don't have to care about that but if you want to do some other navigation you need to write some code and I will show you how to do that today so let's say that we are in our home page here and we want to navigate to the about page and but we don't want to use tabs we want to make it happen when we click the button in this page. So let's do that. And as we can see here, we have created a route called main page and about page for them. And we also have a route for the tab bar. And that's what we can use when we're navigating in .NET MAUI. Because we have a URL based navigation with shell. So if we take a look at the main page I've created here, we have a button in it. Uh, with the text about and we have a click handler on about click so if we go into that one and here we can use shell dot parent and go to async and then we can use the route about page that was created in the shell but to make this work we need to add two slashes here and that's to tell that this will be a relative uh, navigation from where we are right now. So let's run. And here you can see we have the tabs where we can navigate between the pages. And here we have the button. So let's press it and we navigate to the tab. If we now want to implement this go back button, we can do that. So we can go here, right child of current, dot go to async again. Then we can navigate to the main page. But now we can navigate here between them. If we instead want to push another page on the stack, we can do that too. But then we need to go and register a route first, or we can add it to the shell as an invisible item. But uh, we can register a route here in the MAUI program class. So then we use routing dot uh, register route, and we will say this can be uh, login because I also have a login page. Type of This. And then we can go here to main page and then we change to login instead. And then we don't need to have slashes in the beginning because we just registered it like this. So click the button and now you can see it pushed, it, pushed this on the stack. So we can navigate back here. Now so navigate it to the same page, but that's fine. You can see how the navigation works. Uh, instead, if we go here and uh, add about and about page, then we go to about page and we want to add some back navigation here instead. 
can do it like this. And then we need to change to a cloud here. And then we can restart the app. Click about, go back, how to go back. And then we can also use this, of course. But we can also click the button to go back. If we want to navigate to a page that are not on the stack, for example, we want to have a login page that can not can go back from like this, for example, we can do that. We can go here and add it to the shell. We maybe want the login page to be the first when we start the app, so we can do that. We can add a shell content here. We route login. Title, and login page, and then we need to add some content. So, content template, data template, local login page. And now, when this is like this and flyout is disabled we will only see this page with no tabs at all. And that means that we here later can navigate to this tab bar by doing this. Shell.current, go to async, and the route for the tabs was main, so go to async, slash slash main. Now we are on the login page, we can click login, and we navigate it to the main tabs. If we want to have start on the about page, we can also do that by going here and change to main slash about page. Login, and now we are on the about page instead. If we now want to pass some parameters to the page that we navigate to, we can do that. And for that, we will use query strings. So when we click the login button, we use shell.current go to async again, then we will go to the main tabs and main page, then we can add a query parameter like user id is 2, like this, and then we go to main page and we add a property, public string user id, and a set method. And in this set method, we can write code what should happen when this method is set like. For example, we can add a method private void load user data, and then we pass id. And then we can set the breakpoint here for later use. And in the set method, here we can now call the load, u load user data and pass value. So we also need to create an attribute to map this query parameter to this property. So then we will use query property attribute and pass the name of the property, user ID, and the name of the query parameter, user ID. And now we can run this to see that it works. So we have the breakpoint here. Let's start. And now the breakpoint hits here and ID is 2 as we passed in. If we want instead to pass an object, we can do that too. So let's create, a, we can create a user object. Let's do it just here. In the end of this file, public class user and we add a property string name and also uh, id like this and then we can go to back to login page and instead of passing a query like this we Pass a dictionary. More dictionary is new dictionary uh, and string 
and then object like this. And to this, we can now add a user object, like uh, we can call it the key user, and then new user, and set uh, name the value. Okay, and now we, instead of add passing the per for a parameter, we just pass the dictionary like this. And now we can go back to main page and we change this to user, user, and we add change user to that and yes, user. And of course, we need to change this method user, user. Okay, let's try run this. Login. And now we are hit the method. And here we have a user object. The name is Daniel. If we want to access the square parameters from a view model, we can also do that. Uh, but first we need a view model, of course. So let's create one fast in here too. Public class main view model and uh, as you know all view models will implement the I probably changed interface I notify properly changed so let's do that part implement interface but to be able to access the query parameters we also need to have another interface that is I query attributable implement that interface and then we have apply query attribute and then here we have the dictionary so if we remove that call to throw an exception set the breakpoint and then we go here and set binding context binding context is new main view model uh, and we remove this don't need that anymore because we will get them directly to the view model. Okay, let's set the brain point there and run. Press the button. And now we hit the brain point here and we can look in the dictionary. We have one item. And it's a user object. And the name is Daniel. So this is how you can use shell and navigation to navigate inside of your application. So now I have showed you the basics of navigation in .NET MAUI. If you like this video, press the like button and subscribe to my channel because there will be more .NET MAUI content every week. So see you next time.